This is gonna sound absolutely crazy, but I don't look at the golf ball for great ball striking. Welcome to a brand new video. My name's Alex, top 50 world PGA golf professional. Let's get into the video. For one minute, let's think about the golf swing logically. I, I know for most of us, and I'm me included here, that the golf swing's like this illogical, stupid thing that sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. But let's bring it into like real life, everyday things. So imagine, we're at Scottsdale here. I'm not going to hammer anything to the wall because it's very, very nice. But imagine I had a hammer in my hand and there was a nail here, right? What would we concentrate on if we're going to hit the nail? Would we concentrate on the hammer or would we concentrate on the nail? I know I would for a fact concentrate on the nail because that's what I'm trying to hit. So golf is based on hand-eye coordination, isn't it? And I think sometimes, I don't think sometimes actually, I think every time we forget this. Let's use this hoop. So this hoop is where this club is gonna trace. Now, when we look at the golf ball and where are we looking? When we're looking down and we're hitting a shot, we're sort of looking on this top of the ball here, aren't we? This is what we're focusing on, isn't it? Now, if I'm focusing on that top bit of the ball, where do we think we're probably gonna try and contact? that top bit of the ball. But look where that is, that's halfway up. Now, more importantly, if we're gonna contact the ball halfway up, which is where we're looking, going back to the hammer and the nail analogy, look where the bottom of the arc is touching. So where this bottom of the hoop is touching is before the ball. Okay, well, we don't wanna catch it thin, do we? We want that ball and that club to hit like this. Now, in order to do that, look where my hoop has to touch the ground, very much in front of the golf ball, somewhere here. Now, let's go back to the reason why I'm not looking at the ball. Now, the hammer and the nail analogy. I want you to think about this. Now, have a look at the marker I've got here. Very nice golf club, Pan Muir. I always think about great ball striking is all about how you control the bottom of the arc. So just think about it as the hula hoop. So I said to you, if you want to contact the middle of the ball, not the top of the ball, we need to have our hoop touching after impact. So hitting the ground after impact. So our low point after, not before. So I want you to think about this. I want you to, when you're looking, and I'm using my marker here, but when you're hitting your golf ball, just look a millimeter, a centimeter in front of the ball, just a very short distance in front. Now I placed that a little bit further than that, just to give you an example of where the bottom of the arc is, but that was quite exaggerated. But I'm gonna be looking around about this point here, just as a great focus point to hit down to. Okay, so I'm not gonna have the marker there when I'm actually hitting, but just think about this as a focus point. Now we're on the mat inside here, so we haven't got any imperfections, but if you're on the ground, as in on the fairway, in the rough, there's gonna be a slight imperfection on the ground that you can concentrate on. Okay, so I'm not looking at the ball. Remember the analogy, if you're hammering the nail, you're looking at the top of the ball when you're sort of practicing, when you're concentrating on hitting. I'm gonna look just that millimeter in front here. Have a look at the ball strike in. Oh, look at that strike, look at the ball fly. This is seven nine, by the way and just on a smooth one, that has gone 170, oh, I thought we are going to 76, 175 yards. Look at this here in the bottom left corner, 175 yards. Now, if I can do that every single time, that is gonna make golf a hell of a lot easier. Let's go back to the hammer and the nail analogy. If I'm looking at the top of this golf ball, then look where my hoop is gonna be, in the midair, and then look where I hit it. I might catch it out the middle sometimes, but most of the time, I'm gonna sort of catch it towards the bottom. You're gonna sacrifice so many yards doing that. But if I learn to get my bottom of the arc hitting the ground before, well, not quite hitting, but let's say brushing the ground before, look where now, if I go slowly into this golf ball, look where I hit, right out the middle. So this is what we've gotta really work on. So again, I'm gonna pick a spot very, very similar to the iron, but now on the back side. So somewhere around here as my point to try and brush over to then work up and hit through. This really resonated with me. My golf coach when I was about 13 told me this and I've used it to this day. Don't hit to the golf ball, hit through the golf ball. Now that applies with the iron. 
and that applies with the driver. I'm hitting through that spot before and up and through the ball. So again, in my sort of vision here, I actually address the golf ball and I feel this really, really is very, very important. Sort of two to three, two inches behind. And that's my point where I'm trying to come back to and work up and through to help me find the middle. Okay, let's have a look at the distance we get here. This is our final shot. Look how straight that was. Look how straight that was. That was just smooth, but look at the distance. Just because you get this right, 280, 290, 295, that's exactly what we're looking to bring into our game. So, nice and simple, that focus point, don't look at the ball. Thank you for watching, and please do subscribe to the channel.